This is how to quickly stop a narcissist and make them suffer to death. Have you ever found yourself desiring revenge against an intensely self-centered individual such as a narcissist? Is it even feasible to attain? Above all, it's crucial to resist the temptation to engage with them. The most effective way to deal with a narcissist is to disengage and cease communication. By focusing on your personal growth and self-improvement, you will ultimately emerge victorious. I understand the emotions you're going through, but paradoxically, many people lack a crucial element in these situations. It can be isolating to be the sole target of a narcissist's intense abuse, and it's natural to feel anger or harbor negative emotions. While others may not fully comprehend why the narcissist affects you so profoundly, it's important to recognize that feeling anger is a healthy response. It serves as a source of motivation that, when channeled constructively, can expedite your healing process. However, it's essential to avoid succumbing to irrational anger, as it is morally objectionable. Now let's explore some fundamental steps for effectively dealing with a narcissist. If you'd like to delve deeper into this topic, consider subscribing to our channel and enabling notifications to be among the first to access our new content. Have you ever experienced anger towards a narcissist? If so, how intense was your anger and how did you manage to find peace? If you've encountered similar situations, Sharing your personal experiences in the comments section can offer comfort and guidance to others facing similar challenges. Step 1. Embrace and validate your anger. Many individuals tend to repress their anger when dealing with narcissists or situations that force them to interact with them. They perceive anger as something to be avoided, often unaware that it is a natural response to the toxic mistreatment they have endured. Reflect on the harm inflicted by the narcissist, the lies, broken promises, and manipulations aimed at breaking you down mentally. The narcissist aimed to shape you into a mere reflection of themselves while simultaneously discarding and devaluing you. Such experiences are incredibly painful, and it's reasonable for anger to emerge, sometimes even leading to a desire for revenge. However, I do not endorse yielding to this temptation. Instead, it is essential to recognize and validate your anger. Suppressing it will only impede your progress. While retaliating may seem tempting, responding in kind to their mistreatment rarely results in genuine resolution. Remember, acknowledging your anger is just the initial step on your journey. Step 2. Reflect on the narcissist's motivations in the relationship. Narcissists aim to undermine your individuality and self-worth. They oppose any autonomy you might have, discouraging you from setting boundaries or acting independently. Their ultimate objective is to make you feel worthless, degraded and ashamed of yourself. This is precisely why they isolate you, subjecting you to immense suffering. By deliberately inducing amnesia, they seek to erase any sense of identity you once had. They want you to be submissive and compliant, effectively using you as a doormat. By silencing you and controlling your every move, they derive a sense of power and superiority as they lack autonomy themselves. Understanding these manipulative tactics informs your next steps and empowers you to take decisive action. Step 3. How to triumph over narcissists. The key to prevailing over narcissists lies in resisting their desires and doing the opposite of what they expect from you. Narcissists yearn for control over your life, but when you assert your autonomy, set boundaries, and confidently say no, you strip away their power. While this may pose challenges, it's essential to prioritize your healing and protect yourself from future encounters with narcissists. By doing so, you can rise from the depths of their manipulation and emerge stronger, akin to the legendary phoenix. 
Narcissists perceive themselves as all-knowing and omnipotent, but this is far from the truth. When you take charge of your life, implement positive changes, and defy their expectations, it unsettles them. They anticipated your emotional devastation, but you proved them wrong. It disheartens them when you refuse to embrace their pessimistic mindset, causing their attempts to control you to crumble. So, redirect your anger inward and utilize it as a driving force for healing and personal growth. In conclusion, finding constructive outlets for your anger is pivotal on your journey toward healing and personal development. Embrace and acknowledge your anger, channeling it constructively to propel you forward. Establishing an environment of familiarity, closeness and authenticity in your relationships with others necessitates collective efforts. I trust you found this video insightful. 